Hi Moi, it's Sinfi Abyss here. If it looks like I'm crying or if my eyes are red, I'm not sure if you can see it red on this um, camera. It's because of um, hay fever. been suffering from that yeah, for the past week. Um, so I'm not at, I'm not in London at the moment. I'm um, in Lower Stoft, which is uh, not too far from away from London. But um, I'm having a weekend holiday here around my friend's house, you know. And uh, me and my friend, we were chatting a little earlier. He's sleeping now. And it came. we came up with a little bit of a topic, which um, I thought, since I ain't spoke on here lately, I thought I've got a bit of a topic here to talk about. So, um, so what we were talking about is um, artists and bands who usually make an album that get gets them so much fans and then make another album that doesn't usually please the same fans that much or another album after that another album after that it's like um you know so you know some fans yeah even though they're still fans of them may not like their new work as much as their old work you know like my friend we were just, he was chatting you know he's a big massive Enter Shikari fan and he loves Enter Shikari's first album like the first album he could just listen to the whole first album all in one go the second album he would actually like listen to some tracks skip some ones and same with the third album now you know but he's still a big massive Enter Shikari fan you know he still go to their gigs and stuff I think the reason why that happens is because a lot of um, people ch try to, um, you know, get their music out there. They try and put a statement with their first album. So what it could easily be is like they put everything that they've got into the first album. You know, they pour everything, they try as much as they can. I think this is the case what happens sometimes. And once you've put almost everything you've got into the first album, it's like the second mission now will be to make another album, and then you've got to try and put that much work into the album again, and not try and make it sound like the first. Or and obviously, what more better is obviously you want to try and make it better than the first, and that's more pressure. You know. We all know a lot of these big artists and bands who that who are very good at what they do, but I guarantee they still get pressure. People may think they don't get pressure; they do get pressure sometimes. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, some some of the most of the bands they use the pressure to help motivate them, which is a good thing, but it's also a hard thing as well. So I can also, like I said, I can sort of relate to the situation as well, because with my music, because I kind of feel pressured on the same thing, like. I know the music that I've done, I feel confident that that music is great. What, I am, what I'm not really that confident about is can I do music that could top that or even just be just as great as that but not sound obviously the exact same. That's where, that's where the pressure with me comes in, you know. The thing what's really moved forward with my career at the moment is I'm starting to do gigs. And by the way, guys, yeah, there's a link here below, yeah, to details on how to get to the London Anime Con 5 gig, which I'm going to perform at on the 1st of July. About the Brighton gig, I'm not sure what's happening with that, so I can't say anything about that. But it's a fact that I will be playing at London Anime Con on the Sunday. It's going to be on the Saturday as well, yeah. So, if you're into anime and everything like that, yeah, and, and games, there's a lot of game in there. You can go Saturday and Sunday, you know, or, or just Sunday if you want to see me, or just Saturday, but I won't be playing there on the Saturday. But, um, but like I said, yeah, um, I will be there on uh, Sunday, and I'll be playing at five o'clock. Yeah. So as I was saying, yeah, the gigs, everything with the gigs here was going pretty well. Um, the one problem that uh, I've got that 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 I got to say what's happened with the gigs is that I've, I usually get pressured in feeling 
is my gigs always going to be sounding the same? Are they going to be the same? This is where I've got to, I feel like I've got to finish some new tracks, you know? I've got to finish new material and um, try and get some more music out there so I can probably play some, so I can play, do a bit more diverse in all of the um, gigs. So, um, you know, I definitely feel like I've got to um, finish some more tracks. And I want to speak about something here that a lot of um, fans have been asking, a lot of people have been asking. You know, a lot of people ask me, when is the third album going to come out? And right now, what I'm going to say right now is my third album is going to come out when I got confidence. I sure as hell ain't got the confidence right now because I can't even finish a tra <laughs> track alright the, the work in progress track that I uploaded recently yeah that's going well and I'd like to thank your yeah, um, um, supporters and subscribers and who, the people who have commented and helped out yeah, with a bit of advice I'm still working on that track right now yeah but I don't feel confident in doing to the best of my ability that which I know I, f I feel I can do because I'd like to make my next album a very, very great, big album. I have a real big plan with that, and I really want to do something really spectacular with the next album. I am not confident on, on doing that yet. You know, music... For the sense of, of doing gigs, music's going well. But in the sense of coming out with more original stuff, that hasn't really come well lately. And uh, so... Right now, um, but right, now, I'm, I'm trying to, but I'm keeping confident. I'm keeping, I'm trying to keep as positive as I can, yeah. And you know what? I feel that my drive with music will come again one day. It will come again. You know, at the moment, I feel animation, like all the work I do on 3ds Max, is going well. Set just music. I don't think music music's going well at the moment. You know, it's like. Uh, um, everyone knows that I usually do uh, three days a week working on 3ds Max, like modeling and animation. And everyone knows I do f um, three days a week doing music, and one day a week gaming. Besides, when I'm doing weekend holidays like this. Um, now, music. Um, Lately, the three day lately the three days a week is uh, for music has been me experimenting sounds, and lately not been coming out very well. And and some of them some of the things have just not been coming out very well. That I've been usually spending those days just promoting the music really and like speaking to um, people trying to get my music into games. The scary feeling though, yeah, right now, because of the situation, is if someone accepts me and get and get and asks me to do music tracks for their games, and then I'm still like, oh my god, I'm still struggling to finish tracks for the games then. I was like, oh man, if only I could, if only I just felt you know, people usually ask, is there anything you want if there's anything you want, what would you want right now? What I wish I could have right now is my music form back. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like I said though, animation has been going well, you know. The bad thing about animation is is that it takes long. That is the that is the problem. Cuz like even if it went very well for the past month, it's still slow. I mean, you know what it was like yeah, with my music video, that took a very long time. So whatever I do animation-wise is is taking a long time as well. But what I've been working on is been going it's been starting to progress. Starting to progress quite a bit. And I ain't gonna lie, has there been loads of times when I've been thinking about quitting music, calling music a day? Yes, there's been times when I think about calling music a day, but but um, I just know that I can't, just can't do it, you know? I love both the creative side, you know? I love being both, doing music and animation. I love doing everything, I love being creative. And even though music's not going well, when it does go well, it does feel great. 
because I always remember even when I made the Pulse with it current that just the track itself you know it's like everything went brilliant to me it's like something came down from heaven and said just this is the day you're making a track and the track was going so perfect it's like no matter what no matter what I tried even if it was something completely different it just kept sounding good and I could push it and push it and push it that's why I felt that this that song just came out absolutely fantastic that was just the day that song was meant to be made you know sometimes I just I, I, I'd kill to have that moment again I really would I'd love to have that moment again you know but why do I have I ever why have I been feeling like quitting yes because I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself yes because I feel that my music I haven't got the, the touch that I have no more you know there has been those times and I do feel that there's a few other artists out there a few other bands you know it's got music that I feel is a lot better than mine and what's good to see it's good to see that these guys are improving you think to yourself raw these guys are improving and it, I must admit I'm not gonna lie to you guys I do feel like wow they're improving and me I'm going the other direction I'm going down you know they're leaving me behind it's like oh what do I do what do I do <laughs> um, so I can't I'm not gonna lie there is a lot of pressure but but like I said I don't think I, I don't think I could quit I don't think I could quit but on the sense of starting the next album that I would like to start um, I still gonna have to put a stop on that and say I am not doing this album I'm not, I'm not gonna start this album you know until I've got the confidence and I, until I know what I'm until I know I can that's definitely the one thing I'm, I'm gonna say right now talking about music video a lot of people have been asking about um, when is the next music video gonna come out as well well see the situation on that case is because I haven't really got much new music to do music video for I haven't really thought about one now I've actually been thinking of a music video and at the moment it's, it's almost the same thing what can I do that will top the Pulse Wifi current video I probably put <laughs> I mean I put a lot of work into that video and I'm thinking what more can I do in that video what, what can I do in this next video that'll be just as hard but still look just as good I've got some ideas I'm just not sure how am I gonna plan them down but put, put them to paper or to the computer as you say uh, and at the moment I haven't really finished any more songs for that you know so, and so basically but what I really want and like I said what I plan to do with my next album I plan to do something spectacular which I feel like maybe when I'm probably in the process of working on that album maybe I could have a music video for one of the tracks on that album which could really you know do, release it up and make me you know really push it out there a bit more you know this is what that that's basically what's happening at the moment uh I just haven't got the confidence to do that yet I'm trying as much as I can doing a bit of different stuff trying different sounds experimenting but at the moment yeah I've not been um I'm not depressed or anything I'm not been it's not been that like that situation but as for just me making new material you know I've just got to let people know that that, that is a bit of a <clears throat> at the moment so so I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to say for for next time with my eyes but um, like I said guys though yeah uh, I'm going to keep trying to push with what I've got and this new track I'm working on at the moment hopefully I can keep that up until it's um, complete and that'll be a track I could play live at um, this upcoming um, gig on in July, so um, 
So, hope you know. Hopefully, something brilliant always will come. You know, there's been a lot of contacts I've been getting in contact with, and um, something great could easily be happening with people like that. I ain't gonna speak about that at the moment because um, I don't really want to um, pull my hopes up. You know what I mean? So, I just need I just need to wait for something's cool to happen you know what I mean so well, I'm gonna just so I'm gonna leave it there guys yeah just letting you know what's happening yeah what I'm feeling about my music at the moment I know you guys yeah love my music a lot and it actually does give me a bit of pressure as well because I know that I want to keep coming out with new stuff for you guys I mean I just got a comment on my Facebook yeah the other day yeah saying how um, their little sister loves my Yoshi remix a lot you know I think that was Simon who sent that thanks very much for that Simon that you know that means a lot you know hopefully I can keep coming out with stuff that will entertain your little sister more you know what I mean hopefully I keep coming out with stuff here yeah, that will just entertain you all you guys as much more so I'm gonna keep pushing I'm gonna keep trying to get it there yeah but just that just thought you know just this is just a random blog um, as you know I'm gonna come I'll be home here around Tuesday Sometime this week, I think I'll do the Q and A for June. Um, that's all I got to say, guys. Yeah, thanks very much. I'll speak to you all later. Love who you are.